fine Jay Brad, we've got a bit of baits out of the kite. Uh, we just got that stunning black bait in our now. Um, sea's looking alright, the wind's in a good direction, so we've got the big kites up. Uh, we're going to send out a nice tuna piece and, and yeah, hope for the best. Um, like I said, the water's looking very good, there's a bit of a surge going, the sea's quite big, the sea's a bit up, uh, lots of white water, but I think if we can get a, uh, a bait into the deep, we'll, we'll get a certain good fish. So, so yeah, hopefully we check you guys just now with a good fish. Cheers. Big fights and big sharks is what comes to mind first when we talk about Mazeppa and the Trans Sky. Tyron and Jeremy will never forget this unforgettable experience. So guys, it seems I got a bite when I ran off to the hotel. Uh, I wanted to grab a bite to eat. And I get out to the hotel, I check out waving from the top here. And yeah, who would have thought we were going to double up here. <laughs> there's, some, there's some proper fish around and this is the Zephyr Bay. So many challenges in so many big fish in a matter of a couple of days. When everything lines up and your timing's right, this destination can deliver more than what you'll ever expect. I think it's a giant fish, but I think it's a, no, nice size. It's a reasonable fish, it's 100 plus. Now that didn't take long. So far, it's been a proper workout for Tyron and Jeremy. I bet that's not what they expected when they arrived at Mazeppa Bay. Guys, we're about 30 minutes into this fight, yeah? She's close, probably about 300 meters out now, which is playing a bit funny. In the currents to her best. Yeah, no match for the 65 fight J Bray and the Dawa DJ Gong fight. 60. Absolute beast. Beast tackle. Yeah, let's get this fish out. Now yes, it's important just to get a bait in the water and fish regardless what tackle you have, but it's essential and makes such a big difference in your results if you use the correct tackle. And with that I mean your end tackle, your reel and drag is very very important. The only area in my opinion that's not as important could be your rod. But when it comes to your reel, the drag system, as well as your end tackle, it is essential that you have that right. When you hook those bigger fish, you don't want to lose them due to the wrong tackle or maybe knots or products that's not up to standard. Now with the kites and drones, I've noticed a lot of anglers using very, very big oversized deep sea reels. If I can have input on that, I would say you want to try and keep your gear as comfortable as possible. There are some really great products that is much smaller and compact that can still Take the line capacity you require and definitely land these bigger fish. With this I'm referring to a reel like the Dogfight 60, taking over a thousand meter 65 to 80 pound braid and definitely with a smooth drag and quality to land any of these big fish. This makes your fight a lot more comfortable. Again it's important to mention that through your fight you need to identify where you're going to land this fish, especially on your first and second day. Having someone like Andrew Swellendalwa around really helps with this as he has the experience in this area to tell you exactly where to take the fish. Once you've spent a couple of days here and you've landed a couple of fish, you will know getting closer to the end of the fight where would be the best place to take the fish. At this stage of the fight your arms are aching, your back is sore, your legs are cramping and this is what tests every angler and makes us go back for more and more. Down to this incredible fish, looks like a big grey. 
Um, but yeah, it's all about the fish's safety. That's what's most important. And the reward, a really good size grey shark, also known as a dusky whaler. Yeah, unfortunately I am really tired, really fatigued after all the, the fish. And this looks like a really good grey shark. Oh, that's a really good grey shark. So yeah, get a measurement on her, get a couple photos, and then we'll get her back. Good luck, guys. There you have it, another Mazeppa Bay memory. In the case of the Baines, our father and son ambassadors, what a week to remember. Just a list of great catches. Thanks to Andrew for helping me grab that fish in very challenging seas. We probably got about almost two and a half meters, three meters swell today. And very challenging, challenging conditions to pull out big fish in. Sure, I'm out of breath. And she was previously tagged and we presume that's why she, she's reached with a very strong fish because she's been caught before so she knows what to do. So yeah, what an incredible fight, incredible fish, so tough. What a day. Well, thank you again. <laughs> Cheers guys. Right guys, what an incredible day here at Mazeppa Bay Island. Um, yeah, we managed to get two incredible fish, a nice black paley of what what was it, 100 odd kilo, kilos. Yeah. And then managed to land a, a nice grey of, of 241 centimeters. So that puts it around about 220 kilos. And yeah, teamwork at its max there. And it's made the tackle work. Dawa lever drags, 60s pulling fish like crazy. 65 pound J braid, strongest stuff I've ever used. So chuffed with it. And again, thanks to Andrew for helping us out land, land all these fish. What a day. What a way to start the week. We'll check you guys. Shoot.